Well, and we're back to the thing where you're, where if you're a woman walking by yourself, you're not walking through the park after dark. Like we are back to that. I was talking to a friend of mine the other night and she's like, I don't walk through McCarran Park after dark anymore. Well, there was that young woman. And it used to be no issue at all. That young woman at, at, uh, where's it, Columbia? Yeah. Was it? She got murdered by those like teenagers or whatever. Yeah. And she's not the only one. I mean, teenagers are out there killing people. There was a young man on the subway, 14 years old, who was murdered by a gang of girls stealing his iPhone. 14. How did they they murder him? They they stabbed him to death. Whoa. And he didn't know them. They were not at all connected. Yeah. In New York City, when you need help from the cops, they're not there. They, there they, are no many cops. times there's, there's so no many cops yeah, anywhere there's anymore. so many no, 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 hold no, no, on, no, no. when you when you are yep. by Trump Tower and you want to complain about black lives matter in the street the okay. police are there to arrest you They're yeah there of for course that, yes, sure. yes, yes I, I was finishing my statement there and particularly also talking about how if there's a ticket to be written they're there they're gonna do it but if you need help I know multiple instances where people were getting shot stabbed or beaten and the cops were literally, literally standing by and watching not doing anything not but, but we need to make sure yeah. that these 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 violent criminals who are committing these crimes are are, are let out of jail because it's only fair, right? I mean, you know, a cash bail is is holding someone unreasonably, right? Yeah, there's a yeah, guy. Named, there's a guy they, named uh, Matt, there's a guy named Matt Belinsky. No, 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 no I, w- I want an answer to this this this, this statement. <laughs> what? If you have someone committing crimes in New York, uh-huh. should we extend to them our principles of letting them out of jail instead of, or, or should we hold them? That's not the same argument. I don't have that principle of yeah. letting people out of jail. So so I, I so think people so should we be locked we, up if they commit crimes. But you got to prove it, right? You can't just arrest someone without proving it before a jury of their peers. Okay, but so, you, that's so, you know. Do you believe that people should be should only be imprisoned if they're proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt? Uh, probably not. I think Pro- probably you should be able to sit in jail waiting for your trial if you're a violent person. So not innocent if you've until committed proven a violent crime. So so the idea is the government shouldn't be allowed to put you in jail. Unless they've proven you've committed a crime. But what we've done on the side is we've recognized there's actually like a, a, a gradient here. It's not absolute. And that is some people are so dangerous. We actually decide even before we've proven it, we're going to remand them and not release them. Now, that's a challenge. I have an issue with that because my values are you. The government should not be able to put you in a box and lock it up unless they've proven beyond a reasonable doubt you've actually done something wrong because innocent people do suffer because of this. However, I also recognize letting the letting people out in this regard results in rampant violent crime. And I don't know what the solution is, but I can tell you cashless bail has only made things worse. Yeah, they were supposed to do cashless bail only for nonviolent offenders. And it hasn't really worked out that way because people will be let out of jail. And two days later, they're back in because they've killed somebody. Mm -hmm. We've seen this happen in Chicago and New York and all over the place. And that means the solution. The solution is people get put in jail for extended periods of time because the system can't handle it, even if they're they're not proven guilty. That's a that's a problem. That is a problem. And the court system should work a lot faster. Like you shouldn't be sitting there having a trial two years after you did the thing or like, you know, that, just but, stuck but, in but jail. I, for I the get that. Time. But that's like there was a story I saw where a Starbucks had huge lines going out the drive through into the street. So the city voted to ask Starbucks, Starbucks workers to work faster. Oh, nice. Like, if we don't have, if, if the city is so rife with crime and so dense that the court systems and the police can't actually properly adjudicate crimes, actually have bail hearings, then the whole system is just totally screwed up and busted. There's, I don't even know how you fix it. Yep. So the problem we have now is our values, and this is what the, the progressives have been advocating for, in cities like, like LA, New York, and Chicago, and whatever is, you should not be able to imprison someone for any any reason. I mean that in the colloquial sense, not the legal sense, unless you've proven it. And that, that includes a bail hearing. But because there's so much crime, you have people lined up and the judge is like, I don't have time for this. Mm-hmm. Remand, you're, you're violent. Or a person's like, your honor, I argue he's not violent. Okay, fine, you can leave. No, no cash bail. Then they go murder people again. Mm-hmm. I think the problem is there is no, like we can be as principled as we want to be. We have a very serious problem.